गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे लेट मी कंटिन्यू विद दैट फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ जेनेटिक्स एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज जीन इंटरक्शन अंडर विच यूल बी लर्निंग अबाउट द इनहेरिटेंस पैटर्न ऑफ मल्टीपल अलिल्स वॉट इज नोन एज मल्टीपल अलिलिजम एंड सप्लीमेंटरी जीन्स इन दैट प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ब्लड ग्रुप्स इन मैन लाइक ए बी ए बी एंड वो एंड टुडे लेट मी कंटिन्यू विद दैट सेम एंड इन केस ऑफ दिस डिफरेंट ब्लड ग्रुप्स ऑफ मैन द जीनो टाइप्स आर एज फॉलोस से फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए पर्सन हैविंग ए ब्लड ग्रुप विल हैव टू पॉजिबिलिटीज दैट इज आई ए आई ए होमोसाइगस कंडीशन एंड आई ए आई जीरो दैट इज हेट्रोजाइगस कंडीशन एंड पर्सन हैविंग बी ब्लड ग्रुप आई बी आई बी होमोसाइगस कंडीशन एंड आई बी आई जीरो हेट्रोजाइगस कंडीशन एंड पर्सन हैविंग ए बी ब्लड ग्रुप विल हैव द जीनो टाइप एज आई ए एंड आई बी एंड हियर द पर्सन इज सेट टू बी हेट्रोजाइगस एंड को डोमिनेट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज डिस्क्राइब्ड अंडर इंटरक्शन ऑफ जीन्स और डिविएशन फ्रॉम मेंडलिज्म बिकॉज इन मेंडलिज्म a dominant gene is always dominant but here two dominant genes are uh, expressing together and hence the concept is called codominance so this ab condition is said to be codominant situation or condition and person having o blood group as the person is not having any antigens in his blood the person will have the genotype as i0 i0 so it can also pronounce it as io io but actually it should be pronounced as i0 i0 because there are no antigens in it and here in all these blood groups we come across with one common uh, gene what is known as i the letter i which indicates isoagglutinogen that means it is a kind of antigen which is present in common in all the human blood groups hence it is known as isoagglutinogen now let me go through the details of uh, the inheritance pattern of this human blood groups let us consider a problem here that is a man with a blood group marries a woman with b blood group what are the possible types of blood groups observed in their children so here uh, we have to work it out uh for all the possibilities because a person having a and b blood group will have the possibility of homozygous condition heterozygous condition and so on so let us consider four cases here or four possibilities here let me go through the first one now so case one let us assume both man and woman are homozygous for their respective blood groups so parents are homozygous man with a blood group homozygous woman with b blood group and they have the genotype as ia ia ib ib and the person is having uh, a blood group will produce the gamete of only one type that is ia similarly the woman is going to produce only one type of gamete that is ib and when these two are fused together that is when they mate uh, each other uh, they will produce the f1 progeny whether it is son or daughter the daughter will have the genotype as iaib and the blood group expressed will be ab so if both the parents are homozygous for a and b blood group respectively the result is as follows the son or daughter born to them possess heterozygous codominant ab blood group that means such kind of parents produce the children having only ab blood group whether it is boy or girl now let us go through the next case let us assume both man and woman are heterozygous for their respective blood groups in the previous case both are homozygous so parents heterozygous man with a blood group uh married with heterozygous woman with b blood group and the genotype is ia i0 
in man and IBI0 in woman. And as they are heterozygous, they produce two types of gametes. That is, man is producing IA and IO gametes, whereas woman is producing IB and I0 gametes. And the F1 progeny produced by them will have all the possible types of blood groups. That is, AB blood group, A blood group, B blood group and O blood group. And one thing that you observe here is that none of the children are having homozygous condition. All are having heterozygous condition except the O blood group person. Now, the result is as follows. The son or daughter born to them may possess heterozygous co-dominant AB blood group, heterozygous A blood group, heterozygous B blood group, sorry, and homozygous O blood group. So, these are the possible children produced by uh, the marriage if there is a marriage between a heterozygous man with A blood group and a heterozygous woman with B blood group. Now case 3. Let us assume man is homozygous for A blood group while the woman is heterozygous for B blood group. So the parents are homozygous man with A blood group and heterozygous woman with B blood group. So the genotypes are as follows IAIA IA in case of man and IBI0 in case of woman and the man is producing only one type of gamete that is IA whereas the woman is producing two types of gametes that is IB and I0 because she is a heterozygous individual and when there is a random fusion of such gametes produced by these parents they will produce AB blood group and they will produce A blood group so the possible children produced by these kind of parents will have either AB blood group or A blood group whether the person is male or female. So the result is as follows. The son or daughter born to them may possess heterozygous co-dominant AB blood group and heterozygous A blood group. Then consider case 4 that is <coughs> let us assume man is heterozygous for A blood group and woman is homozygous for B blood group. And the parents are heterozygous man with A blood group and homozygous woman with B blood group. So let me interpret a uh, uh, second here that uh, in this kind of crossing we call it as reciprocal crossing. So what is reciprocal cross? So normally some geneticists in the field of genetical research work they will change the uh, homozygosity or heterozygosity of the parents that is in the previous case or in the first case which we have studied in this example uh, both are homozygous in nature but here uh, in the third case the man is homozygous for A blood group and the woman was heterozygous for B blood group. But here in this fourth case, man is heterozygous with A blood group and woman is homozygous with B blood group. So if you change the, uh, the homozygosity or the genotype of the parents like this, we can call this kind of crossing as reciprocal cross. And there is another possibility of a reciprocal cross that we are going to change or the geneticists are going to change the sex of the individual by considering uh, the same phenotype for the different cases. So that is another possible type of crossing that is being followed in genetical research work what is known as reciprocal cross. We have already discussed about back cross and test cross. I hope you remember that. So in this case 4 the man is having IAI0 condition and the woman is having IBIB and the man is producing two types of gametes that is IA and I0 because the man is heterozygous whereas the woman is producing only one type of gamete that is IB because she is homozygous and when there is a random fusion of such gametes 
the F1 progeny will have either AB blood group or B B blood group. So the result is as follows: the son or daughter born to them may possess heterozygous co-dominant AB blood group and heterozygous B blood group. So this is uh, the first important problem. with reference to the inheritance pattern followed in blood group inheritance so as uh, in this uh, class i have explained you about only one such example of the blood group inheritance in man so rest of the things you will have to solve because you have to learn the concept better so i will uh, give you the details of such parents later interaction of genes or factor hypothesis according to mendelism a character is controlled by a pair of genes that is a dominant gene and a recessive gene and the mono hybrid ratio is 3 is to 1 di hybrid ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 and the tri hybrid ratio is 27 is to 9 is to 9 is to 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 3 is to 3 is to, 3 is to 1 so this kind of ratios we will get uh in mendelian type of inheritance but we are discussing about interaction of genes or factor hypothesis see the post mendelian studies have shown that a character need not be controlled by a pair of genes always however a character is controlled by more than a pair of genes or a single gene may control several unrelated characters some genes may modify the expression of other genes and some may supplement one another and some may complement one another and some genes may inhibit a character and some may bring about lethality that is death and therefore mendelism is no more universal thus it may be an exception than a rule that means we can't uh, make uh, every type of inheritance patterns as mendel uh, as a mendelian inheritance but it is an exception and here we can't consider it as a rule also because there are many other types of gene interactions that have been studied by other geneticists after mendel and as such the mendelism ratio stand modified that means in mendelism uh in a mono hybrid cross we will get 3 is to 1 as phenotypic ratio and 1 is to 2 is to 1 as genotypic ratio but in this interaction of genes we will come across with different types of ratios so that is why it is considered under deviations from mendelism therefore a character is the net result of interaction of many genes and thus is called factor hypothesis or interaction of genes coming to the one such interaction of genes that is supplementary genes example comb pattern in fowls showing the ratio as 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 in f2 generation what are supplementary genes supplementary genes are the two independent genes which supplement one another to produce a novel phenotype that is new phenotype and when they are together they interact to produce a, a novel or new character or phenotype and when they are absent also a novel phenotype is produced and the best example is provided by comb pattern in case of fowls that is poultry birds and this inheritance was first studied by batson and punnett in 1927 there are two different comb pattern varieties are there in fowls that is in plymouth variety there is a rose comb pattern having a genotype of pp and in leghorn there is a single comb and each one breed true that means they are true breeders but when rose is crossed with a p novel phenotype called walnut make its appearance and when two walnuts are crossed in the f1 walnut p rose and single 
appears in 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio due to interaction of supplementary genes. According to Batson and Punnett, the Coomless condition is due to basic genes capital CC and uh, small CC. However, these basic genes are modified by the other genes like R and P genes which are supplementary genes. They are called supplementary genes because these are not the basic genes but the basic genes are either capital CC or small CC. However, this R and P are said to be supplementary genes because they are going to supplement their effect on the expression of that Coombe pattern in fowls. When R gene is present, the Coombe becomes rose. When the P gene is present, the Coombe becomes P. And in fact, they modify the basic genes. When RP genes are together, that is capital or dominant condition, they supplement to produce a novel phenotype, the walnut. And when they are present in recessive condition, then also they produce another novel phenotype that is single. See the following tabular column will show you uh, the details of, uh, details of such uh, inheritance of comb pattern in fowls. That is capital R P that is uh, dominant uh, genes like R and P when they are together they produce walnut and capital R small p which will produce uh, rose comb and small r capital P producing P and small r small p producing single comb variety. So these are again the repetition of the same uh, information about this genes like genes usually function or express themselves singly or individually but many cases are known where Two genes of the same allelic pair or genes of two or more different allelic pairs influence one another and this is called gene interaction and gene interaction is again of two types non allelic gene interaction and allelic gene interaction let us go through non allelic gene interaction as the name itself suggests these are the interactions between genes located on the same chromosome or on different but non-homologous chromosomes controlling a single phenotype to produce a different expression. And each interaction is typical in itself and ratios obtained are different from those of the Mendelian dihybrid ratios. And some of these interaction of genes are explained here which will fall under this category and deviate from Mendel's ratios. So this is further the elaboration of that interaction of gene patterns and first one is do two gene pairs affecting same character that is uh, in case of comb pattern in falls 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 and there is a, a interaction called epistasis where one gene hides or effect of other that is of two types recessive epistasis and second one dominant epistasis and the ratios you can see there. Then the third type of interaction complementary genes where they produce a ratio of 9 is to 7 altogether a deviation from Mendelism and there is another such interaction pattern called duplicate genes producing a ratio of 15 is to 1 and polymeric gene interaction which is called uh, which is producing a ratio of 9 is to 6 is to 1 and inhibitory gene action producing a ratio of 13 is to 3. So these are the various uh, types of gene interactions seen in living organisms. Then a concept called additive gene effect. So two gene pairs affecting the same character for example comb shape in poultry or the chicken or fowls. This is I already explained to you. Now let us go through a cross uh, involving a two gene interaction producing 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio for single trait. So here you can see the different comb patterns in fowls. It's very clear here. So this is what the rose comb and this is what the 
पीकुम एंड दिस पैटर्न इज कॉल्ड वैलनेट एंड दिस पैटर्न इज कॉल्ड सिंगल कुम सो दिस आर द फोर डिफरेंट कुम पैटर्न और मार्फोलॉजीज इन पॉल्ट्री बैट्स एंड द इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ कुम मार्फोलॉजी इन चिकन इट वॉज डिस्क्राइड बाय बैट्सन एंड पुनेट विच थिंग आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू नेक्स्ट वेन वी गो फॉर अ क्रॉस लाइक दिस रोज कुंभड फाउल वेन इट इज क्रॉस विथ ए पी कुंभड फाउल वी विल गेट द एफ वन जनरेशन एंड एफ टू जनरेशन एज इट इज शोन हि एंड द पेरेंट्स एस्पेशली द रोज कुंभ वेराइटी इट इज हैविंग ए जीनो टाइप ऑफ कैपिटल आर आर स्मॉल पी पी वेर एज पी कुंभ विल हैव स्मॉल आर आर कैपिटल पी पी जीन जीन कॉम्बिनेशन और जीनो टाइप एंड दे प्रोड्यूस वन टाइप ऑफ गैमिट्स दैट इज फर्स्ट पेरेंट प्रोड्यूसिंग कैपिटल आर स्मॉल पी एंड सेकेंड पेरेंट प्रोड्यूसिंग स्मॉल आर स्मॉल कैपिटल पी एंड वेन दे आर फ्यूज द एफ वन विल बी प्रोड्यूसिंग कॉम्बिनेशन एज फॉलोज कैपिटल आर स्मॉल आर कैपिटल पी स्मॉल पी विच इज प्रोड्यूसिंग द न्यू आर ए नॉवल फिनो टाइप कॉल वैलनेट दैट मीन्स वेन कैपिटल आर एंड कैपिटल पी जीन जीन्स कम टूगेदर दे प्रोड्यूस अ डिफरेंट नॉवल फिनो टाइप और कैरेक्टर कॉल वैलनेट विच इज बींग शोन हिया एंड वेन सच एफ वन इंडिविजुअल्स वर सेल्फ क्रॉस्ड और वेन दे आर इंटरब्रेड दे विल प्रोड्यूस द एफ टू एज फॉलोस दैट इज देर आर अबाउट नाइन सच इंडिविजुअल्स विच आर हैविंग वैलनेट कंडीशन एंड अबाउट थ्री आर हैविंग रोज कुम कंडीशन एंड थ्री आर हैविंग पी कुम कंडीशन and only one will have single comb condition uh i will explain you about this uh, uh type of what do you call it as checkerboard here so the fn individuals when they were self crossed each of them will produce four types of gametes that is a uh, capital or p capital or capital p capital or small p small or small p small uh, so capital p and small or small p uh, same thing is with reference to the other parent also so it will also produce capital or capital p gene sorry gamete and a gamete having capital or small p gamete having small or capital p and gamete having small or small p and when such gametes are united together as i told you already they will produce nine valnet three rows and 3p and only one single combed condition and they will produce in a ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 so <coughs> the ratio is like normal dihybrid ratio for these two traits but it is for single trait that is comb shape having four different forms so this difference you must notice students in mendelian dihybrid inheritance two characters are considered but here only one character with its alternative forms so this is another checkerboard showing how that inheritance pattern is seen in case of this poultry birds with reference to comb pattern so with this let me stop at this level and let us continue our discussion in next class